Okay guys, just coming to you today, showing you how to, uh, how I fix my tuna fish. Nice little quick, easy snack. And today I am using the Bumblebee Chunk White Albacore Tuna. I've got four cans of that. And I have my Hellman's Light Mayo. You know, use whatever. I just choose the light mayo, it's not that serious. Um, I use regular mayo too, so whatever. Um, all right, so I'll show you guys how I do it. And I have my little handy dandy can opener here. I love this. It opens the cans for you and it doesn't leave them. It dulls them around the edge, you know, so they're not sharp and cut you. So I love this. I think I got this from Dollar Tree. It was like regular price at like 20 bucks and I got it for like a dollar on, on clearance. Y'all know me on clearance. So let me go ahead. Yeah, and you just sit it on there and you hit the little button and as you guys see it just opens the can it's a little slow but you know that's because it's dulling those edges for you you guys will see when it's finished opens the can nice and neat for you and it dulls those edges so that you don't you know have sharp edges and get cut so once again i've got the helmets mayo i've got four cans of the bumblebee albacore tuna um, I use different types of tuna, but uh, this is what I'm doing today. And I love tuna fish, um, a nice toasted bread or crackers. Um, yeah, that's usually what I eat it with. So I like eating it with crackers with a little flavor, like sour cream, onion flavored crackers. Just gives a, gives your tuna a little extra. But yeah, it's almost finished. It, it's a little slow, y'all. Like I said, it is a little slow. But it gets the job done. I love this can opener. And of course I have the old fashioned one where you put it on there and you twist it yourself. And I also have the uh, electrical one. But the thing about it with this one, the reason why I use this one all the time is the fact that it dulls the edges for you. I really like this little mechanism. Alright. So. You guys. Uh, the can, look at the can, how dull it is. It dulls it around the edges for you. See? See how I'm touching it? Because it's dull. It dulls it around. This is a pretty cool mechanism. I don't, I don't know where you can get it from. You probably ordered it from Amazon. I know I love it. So, let me go ahead and get the rest of these cans open, guys. And I'll be back to show you how I prepare my tuna. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And you know what? I figured out what was wrong with my can opener. The battery was going dead, so that's why I was moving so slow. But anyway. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this tuna fish done. Uh, let me see. You guys can see. All right. So, I've got my four cans of tuna. I, I do drain the extra um, water off my tuna. I don't like it watery. Some people do. Some people don't. Tomato, tomato, whatever you like to do. So, go ahead and get all my tuna out. Get all four of my cans here. And I like the albacore. It just has a nice, fresh sea taste. If you know what I'm talking about. It's got a, like a nice, fresh sea taste. I just love it. It's, it tastes like fresh, fresh fish. You know, fresh tuna. That's what I like about the albacore. So, if you haven't tried the albacore, you definitely need to try it. It's like a fresh refreshing taste when you have your tuna now if this was just for me I would add boiled eggs but you know my daughter's gonna be eating it they don't want the boiled eggs in it so we won't be adding boiled eggs I just wanted to put that out there I do put boiled eggs in my tuna but this is gonna be for you know the whole house so I won't be putting eggs in this tuna all right, so we've got all our tuna in there. Let's get this mayo. Now, I add my mayo slowly. I don't add it all at once. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon, two tablespoons. I'll do a third tablespoon. And we'll sit that to the side. Now, let's go ahead and get it mixed in. 
And the reason why I add the mayo slowly is that I don't want to over mayo it. I don't want to overdo it. So three tablespoons is usually good for me. And I don't like my tuna with a lot of mayo. I don't. I don't. We don't. Well, the house doesn't. So. And I usually put about three tablespoons. And that usually does it. As you can see. Three tablespoons is plenty for these four cans. And we eat them with crackers. A nice uh, whole wheat bread. Or white bread. Toasted bread. A bagel. However you want to eat it. But that's how we eat it. I like it with a, a flavored cracker, like I said, like a sour cream uh, cracker, um, even the Keebler crackers. Just, just a plain cracker tastes good too. Nice little saltine, tastes delicious. See, look at that. That looks delicious. Looks delicious. I don't want it too wet, too mayo-y. You see how it tastes. Oh yeah, I'll put a little bit though. I do need a little bit more mayo. I'm just going to do half. Half a, a tablespoon. Half. That should be enough. I just want a little bit more in there. Yep, that is excellent. Can you guys see that? Let me zoom you guys in. Sorry about that. Let me zoom you guys in. So you can see the tuna. Yep. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There you go. And I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper. Not going to add parsley, guys. This will probably be the only time you don't see me add parsley. I, I don't really put parsley in the tuna. A little salt. Just a little salt. A little pepper. And remember... My girls are going to be eating it too, so I don't want to overdo it, over season it. Now if it was for me, I put some boiled eggs in here, I put some garlic salt in here, oh yes. I might put a little bit of oibe, oh yeah, I would do it up. But you know how it is with kids, they don't like everything, so make sure you guys can see. There you go, make sure you guys can see. Finish getting that mayo mixed in, that salt and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper to give it a little, you know, a little extra flavor. I'm telling you, some boiled eggs, some garlic salt, mm, 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 some garlic, a little bit of oil bay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Tastes amazing. All right, guys. That's it. That's all. Tuna fish. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. That's it. Quick homemade tuna fish. Well, you know what I mean. Homemade. I'm home and I made it. Y'all know what I mean. But All right, guys. Another little quick snack from Marika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. And remember, guys, knowledge is power. Bye.